Oh. Okay, this is Jason from Alaska Grizzly RV Rentals. Today we're going to do a walkthrough. We're going to go over the 31J. So first off, we do like a quick walk around, go through the compartments. So your first compartment here is just, you got your jack in here and it has a cover for your windshield and your mirrors. Uh, nobody really uses it, but it's here just in case. And the jack's mainly, uh, if you get caught or if somebody comes, you have a flat tire and somebody comes out and they need a jack, it's here. Okay, your second compartment here has basically, it has all of your uh, stuff for dumping. So it has your gloves, sanitizer, gloves in here, and a few other things in case you get a clog or anything in your, um, in your toilet. Um, here is your compartment for your batteries. There's nothing you got to do in here. It'll stay locked. Um, there's a switch on the inside. We'll go over that when we go inside and show you where they're at. Um, these are just 110 plugs. Um, in case you're running a generator, you have something to plug in outside, you can do that. Uh, this is for your refrigerator. Nothing you got to do there. Um, and you got these two compartments here are just storage compartments is all they are. There's nothing in them. They're just for storage. Okay, this unit does have two slide outs and we'll go over them when we go inside also. Um, here is where you, um, this is where the sewer hose is for dumping and I will put gloves on. I will pull it out real quick and show that to you. So first of all, let's go. This compartment here is your main storage. It has four camping chairs in you or in there for your use. Okay. Um, here you have your basically your gray water and your black water. So the both valves are shut. So you're gonna basically undo this, hook this up like that, put that in the hole, and then you're gonna do your black water first. You're gonna pull it, let it drain all the way, push it back in, and then pull your gray gray waters, your uh, basically your sink and your your shower water, and it just it'll rinse it all out. And then push your valves back in. If you don't push them back in, then everything when you put this cap right here, it'll be sitting here waiting on you, and it'll be a big big surprise when you take this cap off. So make sure you push these valves back in when you're done. Okay. Just get the keys real quick. Oh, okay. okay, so right here is your potable water. So the key right here is for basically filling your tank up. Put your hose in there. When water starts squirting out right here, that means your 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 water tank is full. Okay. This key is for your all your compartments to lock them. Okay. This is for all them. This is for your ignition, and these two are to lock the doors they're the same key they're they're both one for the like i said the regular lock and your bolt lock or your dead lock so um 50 gallon fuel tank regular gas unleaded only um this right here is for your this is for your hot water heater this is for your furnace these two items get hot, so if you got any kids running around there, just make sure they're not leaning on them because they will get burnt, okay? This is your propane here. It is full, and nothing you really need to do here. Um, when you pull up to a gas station, they will basically fill it up for you. Um, it'll be full when you get it, so like I said, they will make you, everybody inside, out while they fill it, but other than that, this is the location of it. So you know when you pull up to the tank that the driver's side needs to be uh, this way. Um, as far as your electrical, it is plugged in right here to your generator. So whenever you're at a campsite and you need to uh, your plug in somewhere, all you do is just disconnect it, plug it in here. Um, or you can just plug that if they have a connection there, either one. But make sure after you leave your campsite, you put it back in here because you're rerunning your generator and it's laying in here and it's not plugged in. You have no power in there for 110 anyway, or your um, 110 or your microwave. So like I said, that's usually the number one call is for that right there. Uh, this compartment here is your generator. Nothing you got to do on this 
it's all done from the inside. And then here is your basically storage slash, this is your potable water. This is that compartment back there that you just basically, um, you just put this in there and fill it up. This right here is a pressure reducer. I want to go back and show you where that connects. You just leave it to this hose right here and you'll just push this right into your, it goes right here based on your, um, it's based it's based on if you have water connection, you'll just screw it right into here. You just screw it right in here. And all it does is it limits the pressure, amount of pressure from the city that goes into here. So like I said, that's, that's the main thing. Full service. For full service uh, RVs. Camp sites. Camp sites. Um, as far as this section here is a slide out. And the back section on the other side is a slide out. And you can see there's no, no major damage on here at all. So this section here is slide out also. Here's the keys that I was talking about that locks it and unlocks it. Okay. And then that's your hook right there where you can hook up your, you have to lower that. You, uh, yep, you can hook that up. So you have two, two, two uh, switches right here. One is for your awning and one is for your battery. So your awning just, out and in so that's all it is out and in okay your battery just turns your batteries on in here in the so if you don't have no power in here no lights or nothing somebody may have kicked this so I'll always just leave this on um fire extinguisher right here and this is your circuit breaker panel if you like i said pop the circuit breaker or something you can check that and you have your ceiling light and your porch lights right here okay so as we come in here we'll just go to the front so this is your actual, um, your full size or queen size bed over the cab here. It's got your ladder attaches right here. It just pulls down. This just gives you more room when you're walking in and out of here. You got movies right here. You do have a curtain right over here that attaches to the Velcro right here that gives you your privacy. Okay. Your, um, your power button to your TV is right here. Okay. And then once you that's on, you just hit your power, DVDs go in here, and you hit your play, and your remotes are on the table right here. You got one for your TV, and you got one for the, basically a DVD player. Um, up front here, you have a can of uh, bear spray, and you actually have a battery boost in case you left your lights on, and you have a dead battery to start it up. You just push that, and it pulls the juice from the back of the... Uh, the house batteries to start your engine up. This makes it to be a bed right here. It basically just a handle right here flips over and it lowers down onto here and then your cushions lay out. Uh, this makes out to be a bed also and it has a handle here you just pull up and it lays out also. Um, got your coffee pot, some filters, toaster, and some coffee cups. Um, here you have your bedding for your basically um, these three beds right here, your queen and your two fulls right here. Okay, pots and pans, uh, microwave. It can be it's used when you start your generator up or if you are plugged into a 110. If you plug into a 110, if you're at a campsite, um, your stove. Like I said, you just hit the light. That's all you got to do on these. Um, and the, if you do the oven, uh, you would turn it on. It's got a pilot light. It's kind of like a hot water heater. You actually got to hold it in with a lighter and you stick back here and it lights it up. Most people don't. Yeah, normally nobody even bakes in it, but here's some pots and pans here in these drawers. Okay, cleaning supplies are right here. And it's like, um, that's right there is like a, uh, safety kits got jumper cables, flares, stuff like that. Cabinet's got seasoning in here, and over here's got your coffee cups, it's got some paper plates, your regular plates, bowls, and cups. Also, um, drawers got your silverware in there, it's got all your utensils here. Um, should have everything you need, and of course, there's your lighters and measuring cups and towels. Here in this drawer here has a little tool kit, has a map. This is the, the basically operation manual for this whole unit here. 
So everything, you have any questions, it's all in here for this unit. And this is like a small little first aid kit. So as far as the refrigerator, I always turn it on and I go to auto. You will see it kicks on here and then you'll get a light here that say, hey, I'm running off of gas, which kicks on. Anytime you're plugged in or if you're running a generator, this light goes off. And like I said, it goes swaps back and forth from electric to gas based on your power. And I just leave it to the coldest. Um, so like I said, it's all cleaned up for you. The refrigerator in the freezer, got everything. Like I said, it's all good to go. So here's your uh, bunk beds. Uh, it's got the... your got your power here. I mean, I'm push, sorry. push it out. I, I know. Got your got your um, got your bedding here for each one of these. The one thing you do to get these slide outs out is you got to have the emergency brake set, which I didn't set. So I will push the emergency brake in. Okay. So I'm Emergency brake is in. You have to have that to do the slide outs. And I always, honestly, I like to start it up just so it's not so much wear on the uh, batteries when you're cranking these up and out. So on here, on this master slide, you gotta make sure your key is on and extend. And this is the front one right here. You will see it slides out. Opens it up, gives you a little more room in here. Okay, as soon as it comes to the end, and then you're gonna do this one here. And okay, always make sure there's nobody, nothing around the RV. Before yeah, you when, when you're at a campsite, just make sure you do a walk around, make sure you got the clearance, uh, trees and stuff like that, whenever you're, uh, you know, sliding these out so you don't push it in a vehicle or a tree or anything. So, your test levels here. Um, so this right here is gonna give you, okay, your battery is fully charged, your water's full, your gas will be full also, your gray water is empty and your black water is gonna be empty also. So all these will, you know, sometimes your black water will fluctuate because the sensors get stuck, but other than that, it will be dumped and everything. This is your water pump. You'll need this on anytime. Like I said, you fill your potable water and you need to run water, your toilet, sink, shower, you'll need this. Now, if you're on city water, full service hookups, you won't need your pump on because it has the pressure to do it. And then of course your hot water, make sure this pilot light and say, hey, it, you know, once it goes out, that means your pilot light lit. If you ever see this and it stays lit, just cycle it on, cycle it off again. It just means say, it tried it and it didn't light. So just make sure it goes out. And then of course your generator here, you just hit that and that starts it, gives you your power to your, um, to your microwave. microwave, it gives you power to your AC and all your 110 outlets, okay? And that's it, all you do to shut that off, okay? So here's just more, like I said, stuff for- uh, People uh, have left it, we pass yeah, it on. Yeah, just pass it on. Um, go in here. Um, you got your, like I said, your towels underneath here, um, hand towels. Here, you're gonna have your toilet paper, one ply, preferably two, um, if you can't get one ply you're to use. Ply. And these right here, you wanna put in every time you dump or when you get a smell, you just dump them down the toilet just to break, helps break it down. You have a, you have a, a um, blow dryer also. And lots of water between yes. flushings. So when you do this and you flush here, make sure you hold this down and get plenty of water in there because it seems it will get clogged up if there's not yeah, enough water. Yeah. Yep, so constantly do that. Um, you, let's see what else. Got your beds here. You got a curtain right here that can go up here for privacy, but you need to remove it because when it slides in, it will rip these off if you don't remove that. Extra you got extra blankets here on uh, these compartments and this is basically all for all yeah they're all empty for your use here's your bed there are pillows up here for all the beds in here and these are all been uh we we, we put clean liners over the pillowcases yep. between uses yep they're all washed so, uh, you have do have a privacy here um curtain and there's another one up here be careful um, this around children they love to play with it and pull on it and they are delicate so so anyway, that honestly is about um, everything in here. Um, 
See, there is a, a cleaning list so people forget, you know. We just leave it here for you. Yep. As a re review. Um, seat also, belts. Yep, like I said, other than that, your seat belts are here, here. Um, other than that, that's about it. So feel free, like I said, if you have any questions, give us a call or critique. And let me know if there's something I missed or didn't go over. And like I said, we're uh, we're here to help you. So, and all the all this is in documents too. Yeah, so all this is in documents. All the forms will be sent to you with this video. So like I said, if you have any questions, like don't hesitate. Okay, y'all take care. Bye bye.